Welcome to my 2020 office tour. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes of how I film these YouTube videos, the equipment that I use, and my workflow setup to hopefully inspire you guys and give you new ideas um, based on the equipment that I've acquired over the past five years. The beginning sequence of this video was actually shot utilizing the Ronin-S with the Canon 1DX Mark II and a 24 millimeter prime lens. Everything was shot at 120 frames per second. Um, I've had this set up for a couple of years now. The Ronin S is a very unique tool and it's capable of doing a lot. So I kind of, I use it for very unique projects, you know, uh, especially if I'm going out filming a car video or doing a B-roll sequence like the beginning of this video here, you can be very, very creative with this. Now, I don't recommend putting a 1DX Mark II on here. Even though it's capable of holding the weight, it's, it gets heavy. Um, so just keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually switch to the 1DX Mark II. I'm gonna leave my current setup how I have it here and show you guys a little behind the scenes of the entire office. It's not that big, it's a 10 by 12, but I think that I have really made the best out of the setup and utilized my space uh, properly or to the way that I like it. The only thing that I don't have in here that I had in my old office, since I just moved in here, were soundproof panels. So uh, let's get started, then uh, hope you guys like the video. So I'm gonna start this video off with a bird's eye view of the office. Now the office is not that big, it's approximately 10 by 12. And I have a three desk setup, and I'm gonna walk you guys through my workflow, some of the equipment that I have here, and uh, hopefully I'll inspire you, give you guys some ideas of a setup for yourself. So the first desk I'm gonna talk about is this desk right here. This is my primary desk where I have all my cameras set up, my computer, my uh, preamp for my microphone, etc. This desk is from Ikea. It's adjustable. Uh, you can manually adjust it to sitting position and or standing position. Now, the reason why this is my primary desk is because I rig my cameras onto here instead of a tripod. Um, this what you see here is from Manfrotto. It's a variable friction arm with a super clamp, which gives you flexibility of mounting your camera to just about anywhere. Anywhere that you can fit that super clamp on. It's extremely sturdy. And the reason why it's a variable friction is because if you loosen this up, then you could adjust the position of your camera. Here I have my monitor. Here is the EOS R with the 16 to 35 millimeter lens on it and the Atomos Ninja 5. Also on this desk, I have my Mix Pre 3, which is then connected to my Sennheiser MKH 416 mic. Uh, I did a whole video about this microphone. It's an amazing microphone. Um, highly recommend you guys look into it if you're looking to improve your audio. And then of course, that is my MacBook Pro which I also did a video on. Um, then over here to the side, I have some miscellaneous batteries. I always keep everything charged, ready to go. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much the first desk that I have here. And this is where I sit in all my videos, because as you could tell, the backdrop that I have, um, that's what you guys see majority of the time. I'm gonna walk over here. This is my editing station. This is where I edit all my videos. I'm gonna start off by talking about this chair. Now, this is the Embody chair from Herman Miller. It's an amazing chair. If you guys are spending a lot of time in your office, this is really something well worth your investment. Um, I'll put a link down below, check it out, read up on it. It's um, definitely well worth it. So, to the left here, we're gonna start off. This is the Promise Pegasus. It's a 16 terabyte hard drive, this is where I edit and store all my photos and videos. This here is the uh, iMac Pro. This is the baseline edition that's still out, currently starting at $5,000. Uh, 
And then next to it, I have the Apple trackpad. And this is a keyboard that I recently got. Uh, I think the company is called Keychron. I'll link it down below. It's a wireless mechanical keyboard. I like it. It's nice. It lights up in all different colors and you could pretty much adjust it to however you like. There's a little light button here on the side. And if you press it a couple times, you'll notice the keyboard will start changing colors. Now over to the right, this is the Palette Pro. I did a video on it. You can basically use it to edit your photos. Um, you could customize each button to do certain things depending on the program that you're using like Final Cut Pro or Lightroom. And then last is the Apollo Twin. This is a preamp for the computer. I can hook up my Sennheiser mic to it. Um, it has a headphone jack. It's extremely, extremely powerful and uh, it comes with a lot of great software. A lot of musicians use this. Um, again, everything will be linked down below. So definitely go ahead and check that out. And last, actually, this is a light that I picked up from CB2. I kind of like the look and feel of the light. Uh, gives a nice warm light. So um, yeah. Now, coming along here, I haven't really figured out what I want to do with this space. As you guys could tell, I have no soundproofing panels. I have nothing on the wall. This wall was actually painted with a Benjamin Moore black tar. Um, it was a little risky painting it that color, but in the backdrop of videos, everything really turned out to be amazing. I like it. So if you guys are interested, that's that. And then finally, this is my dual monitor setup um, that's an i7 processor computer 4000 gigahertz uh, 32 gigs of ram with a nvidia um, actually a ge force 1080 card uh, it is a gaming computer but for those of you who don't know i work full-time as a construction project manager and having a computer as powerful as a gaming computer really allows me to do everything that i need to do whether it's looking at cad drawings looking at PDF drawings of architectural engineering. Um, it's it's very, very efficient. Now, you'll notice I also have another mechanical wireless keyboard, but this one is less compact. This one actually has the um, number keypad, which I use a lot. And then I have the Logitech MX Master uh, 2S. This is the older one. I know the new one just came out I haven't upgraded don't feel I need the need to so that's that um, also in this corner this is the Pelican Pro case it's what I used to travel now with all my gear I did a video up on that so you guys should definitely go ahead and check that out and over here in this corner is this is my light that I use this is the aperture uh, 120D with the aperture light dome. Let's see if I could zoom in over here. Now they have the aperture 120D Mark II. I haven't found the reason to upgrade. This has been, you know, serving its purpose. It works well. And that's it. That is my 2020 office tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I inspired you, gave you some new ideas. This is my workflow process. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Hope you liked the video. Drop a like on it if you did. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.